So good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Pulling In Your Reality with me, Michelle Edhouse. Yay! So just a couple of little bits before we get started uh, with the energy pull. Normally we would start the call first off with the energy pull, and then we'd move into question time afterwards. Um, but since today is the first day, uh, so my the tools and processes that I'll be using in this series are based on the Access Consciousness tools. Um, I've been an Access Consciousness facilitator for eight years now and um, super, super, super grateful for these tools. So um, for those of you new and joining us, Energy Pools, uh, the way I run the Energy Pools is to first off invite you to expand your awareness expand your being to be as big as you actually truly be it doesn't mean expand your body you don't need to go and scoff yourself full of donuts or anything to make yourself that big um, if, if that's what's part of the reality you desire cool go for it um, and then what we'll do is we'll clear the energies of all the things that have you locked into um, what's creating your life as it is at the moment wherever that's limiting your um, creative juices to create the future that you desire and then we'll tap into the energy of what it is you desire it's this isn't like making a um, a dream board where you find the picture of exactly the car that you want the red ferrari or lamborghini or bmw or whatever it is the exact model blah 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 it's about getting the energy of having that now you may not actually even know what it is you may not be able to specifically say this is the car i want or this is the type of new husband i'm after or whatever it is that you are looking to receive but it's about getting the energy of what that is and asking to have that energy and you know guys sometimes when you ask for an energy energy to show up it shows up but not quite in the way you were imagining maybe you're asking for um somebody to snuggle up on the couch with that just you know wears cashmere jerseys and just yum 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 and you're in a shop and you find a pillow for the couch and it feels like a cashmere jersey and you're like oh yeah oh so acknowledge that that's the energy you've been asking for and maybe buy it and maybe not it's up to you but acknowledge each time that energy shows up and then as we go through the month you may start to refine the energy of what you're actually asking for and get more clarity about what it is um so um yeah I'm going to start the first energy pool and afterwards we will have question time and you guys can ask questions about whether the, um, oh sorry, after we've got the energy of what we desire, we ask for it and ask and you shall receive is actually true. So we go ahead and ask for it and pull energy through all the beings and bodies and molecules that can contribute to the creation of that, to the actualization of it. And remember guys you still have a part in it just putting it out there in the world you actually still have to receive it when it shows up so um, when it does show up grab it oh cool this is the energy I've been asking for awesome and what else is possible so once we've done the energy pool as I said we then go into question time and um, you guys can ask questions about how to do the energy pull or what is being done in the energy pull or something like that or something totally random totally outside um you know last month we had questions on parenting we had questions on um travel we had questions on how to be with your your parents not just to be a parent um we've had over the months we've had questions on money and um, business and jobs and all sorts of stuff so 
um, whatever's going on for you, there's room for you to be facilitated on those as well. So let's get to it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Alright, so if you are in a space where you can close your eyes and you choose to, please go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in, allowing your body to receive you and you to receive your body. Be present with your body. Would you be willing to be inside your body as well? Be present with all of your molecules. Say. Good morning, good evening, whatever it is for you. And as you be with your molecules, start adding all the molecules of your body all at the same time. Stop running around like a blue ass fly and <laughs> just be with all of them at the same time. And start expanding even further outside your body, adding more and more molecules until you've added all the molecules in the room. All the things, the walls, the floors, the furniture, the dust particles, the molecules of all of it. And keep expanding in all directions, down into the earth, up into the sky, behind you. Remember to expand behind you. Would you be willing to be present with everything that you've ever put behind you that's still there? Everything that brings up where you destroy and uncreate it all, right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. So expand out behind you, below you, until you've included the entire building you're in and everyone and everything in it. Be the space between all those molecules and keep expanding, lowering your barriers. Just push those down and keep expanding, keep expanding. If you're being willing to be aware, nothing can hurt you. There is no such thing as bad energy. It's just energy. When you're perceiving what people call bad energy, you're perceiving the thoughts, feelings and emotions that others have projected, expected. And what if none of that was wrong either, just different to your point of view? And so expand your allowance. And keep expanding throughout the entire town you're in. Until you be the space between the molecules of all of the town, all of the people, all of the caverns underneath the town. All the water pipes and the water in them. All the electricity pipes, the data pipes. Keep expanding throughout the entire country. All the lakes, the trees, the people, the cars, the roads, the buildings, the land itself, the air above the land. Keep expanding in all directions until you're encompassing the entire planet. Lowering those barriers, expanding that allowance. And remember, it's just a choice. When you ask to be that, you'll be that. Ask to lower your barriers. You will lower your barriers. Ask to expand your allowance. You will expand your allowance. What if your allowance was greater than your awareness? 
keep expanding, keep expanding throughout the entire galaxy, the entire universe. And now start expanding in more than three dimensions. Throughout all time, all space, all realities, all dimensions. And all everything that I don't even cognitively know exists. Until you be the space between the molecules of the infinite verse. Lowering your barriers, expanding your allowance. And what if you didn't need to think about any of it? What if you were willing just to be present with it? Be aware of it? Not judge it? And not have to do anything about any of it? What would that create as your reality? As you be that space, everything you've defined you as, everything you've defined as your life, your living and your reality, all the decisions, the judgments, the conclusions, all the points of view you have about what's possible. What's not possible? Would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all of those, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. Who are you today and what grand and glorious adventures can you have? So get a sense of all the projections and expectations all the judgments of what's possible, what's what your future is, of who you will be in the future, who you won't be, who you can be, who you can't be, what you can do, what you can't do, what you can have, what you can't have. The effect you can have on the world, the effect you can't have on the world. All of that, will you destroy and uncreate all of it, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pop, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. And now get a sense of what it is you actually desire to be living. If you were living your reality today, what would that be like? If you were being you today, with no trying to fit in, no trying to be what mum wants you to be, or your husband wants you to be, or your kids want you to be, if you were being you, get the energy of what that would be like. And also notice that some of that matches what people want, desire you to be. But not from a place of have to be, from a place of that's just who you be. So get a sense of what you'd like your life and living to be like. Is there more space, more ease, more joy? Maybe there's more money, more orgasmic moments. What 
When you get up in the morning, what's the energy you desire to be? Hello world, how are you today? What grand and glorious adventures can we have? Oh, hey body. Oh, I wonder what awarenesses you can give me today. How much fun can we have? Whatever it is for you. And remember when you're looking at creating your future, to ask for what you desire, not the resistance of what you don't desire. So asking, body, what would it take for us to have ease and joy of movement? Comfort. Elegance. Rather than, I want no pain. What? I want to be not such and such. Expand out, expand out. Get a sense of what it is you desire as your relationships. If you were creating your relationships from absolute scratch today, what would you choose? What energies would you ask for? What energies would you be? And include your body in that. Even in friendships, your body is included in your relationships. Are you including your body in your reality? Because at this point, you do have a body. Are you including your body in your money flows? Because if you didn't have a body, you wouldn't need money flows. <laughs> Are you willing to ask your body to contribute? Are you willing to receive the contribution your body be? Maybe those are things you desire to ask for. To receive more from your body. To allow your body to contribute more. What about the animals, nature, the planet, the universe? What is it you desire for them? What is it you desire to have and be with them? To contribute with them? To receive? What if you could be the space between the molecules of nature? Even when you're in a boardroom? Or in a basement? What else is possible? So get a sense of all of that, all of what you desire is your reality. And now expand it. Is there a limit to what you've been asking for? Have you only been asking for what you think is possible? Or what you've seen somebody else have? What's beyond that? Is there anything you desire beyond what's even ever existed on this planet? Even if you can't put words to it, get a sense of what that would be like. Are you willing to ask for that? And as you be aware of that, Choose it. 
ask for it, demand it of you, request it of the universe. What energy, space and consciousness and choice can you and your body be to perceive, know, be and receive the reality you desire? Ask and you shall receive. So now pull energy through all the beings, the bodies, the molecules throughout the infinite verse that can contribute to the actualization of the reality you desire. And what if you didn't need to know who that was, what that was, and how, how they contributed? You just asked. This is what I desire. Please contribute. And pull energy through from behind them, through them, through you, and out the other side. And now increase that flow. Pull more and more and more and more and bigger and more and faster and wider and thicker and bigger and... Keep it pulling more and more and more and more and more and more and more until it opens up and has been bees more space. And as you're pulling through them and through you, allow little trickles to go out to all of those beings, bodies and molecules. You haven't stopped the flow through them and through you. You're adding a flow back to them. Just a little trickle. A little information stream that says how, where, when, what to contribute. And it tugs at them, niggles at them, tickles at them, tantalizes them until they follow that and contribute. And then ask those energy flows once they've contributed to equalize. Not to stop, but to equalize. How does it get better than this? What else is possible? And as you open your eyes and go about your day, choice can you make today that will contribute to the actualization of your reality now and in the future? <sighs> okay. So, there is no questions in the group. Is that you, Kim, that's online? Have you got any questions? Hi. Hi. How you been? <laughs> I've been missing you guys. <laughs> yeah, really. It's like well, today's the day. <laughs> Yeah. Um, question about receiving and giving you know Austin's 14 and we always like every once a week I kind of bribe him with a movie so we do bars together mm -hmm. and already last week Monday you know I'm like I'll take you bowling if I win you do bars on me first and if you win I'll do bars on you first we had this plan for th Friday well Friday came around and he wanted to do something else, so he went to a football game instead of our movie night, which has been every Friday night for the last three, four months. But my question is, he gives me a response, you know, I don't want to. But if if I can coax him enough to do bars, do you think he gets in the receiving part of it? Or can he just kind of like shut it off? Yeah. The person has to be willing to receive, right? He'll only receive as much as he's willing to receive. 
and if he's actually doing them with you there is some gifting and receiving going on okay okay um if if you have to force him then he will shut it off yeah yeah that's why because it's like when he wants to go to football game joe's like well just tell him no and i'm like no it doesn't work that way i'd rather just let him go to football and have fun and then we made plans for tonight instead so hopefully it'll yeah cool you know and you know especially as they get older friday nights become busy (laughs) Mm -hmm. see (laughs) mum so maybe wednesday night or yeah okay maybe i should do that then change a night and have um you know so one of the one of the things we used to talk a lot about in access and it's kind of got pushed aside by the new exciting stuff but it's still very relevant is the difference between a system and a structure a system Mm. is where you're creating something there's a target um and whatever it takes to get to that target is what's done what if if whatever's going on isn't working you change it to create something that will work a structure is where you go but no we've done it like this all the time we're going to carry on doing it like this um good example is um kodak the camera company when digital cameras came out they went under because they refused to change no we've always done it like this there'll always be a market for our stuff and so whereas canon and all the other ones went oh there's change happening we need to be on this bandwagon and it's the same with you know family scenarios we've always done it friday so no you can't go to the football game because it's a friday and you have to do bars uh is that working for everyone no what would work for everyone oh maybe wednesday night let's do it tomorrow or maybe sunday morning i don't know if you guys go to church or not but if you don't go to church maybe sunday morning can be your church morning (laughs) the church of us Mm. let's do bar (laughs) um you know what what is it for you what works for you what creates the reality that you actually desire do you desire to do bars every friday night is that what you're actually looking to create or are you desiring to gift and receive bars with your son at least once a week mm-hmm. one week it might be sunday night and monday morning and then nothing for another 10 days but it's every week mm-hmm. you see what i mean yeah everywhere you've created structures instead of systems will you destroy and uncreate that please yeah right wrong good bad pod all nine boy shorts and beyonds and it's not about making the structures wrong it's about well this isn't working for us anymore what can we choose now yeah structures don't seem sound very easeful either they're light what's that when you say structure like that, it doesn't seem very easeful either when you yeah. think about it. Um, <clears throat> you know, people say, but the body's a structure. No, it's not. It's a system. It's continuously changing. It's when, it's, when things become solidified and um, stuck, that's when they're a structure. But when they're continuously changing, that, you know, and it may be a very slow, gradual change, but it is a change. Um, You know, aging, the body is always doing something towards aging. How quickly it does it and how much it does, that's definitely changeable. So, um, yeah. Does that contribute? Does that? Open some yeah, support. quite a bit. Yay! Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Cool. All right. So, um, so there we are, guys. 
that's our first call for the month. Um, and I would love for you guys to join us um, for the rest of the month. If you can, if you can't, the recordings will be available um, in the Facebook group, just an audio file. The audio files, there's two files per day. There's the full call with my little intro at the beginning, the energy pool and the questions afterwards. And then there's also an audio file of just the energy pool. So, um, you know, I know some people pop those onto a playlist and have them playing 24 seven, just so they can have that energy pool going all the time for themselves. So, um, and then also there's a backup recording of the video on YouTube as well. There's a playlist for you all. So thank you guys for choosing to create more in your life, choosing to have more as, as your reality. And what is it that you could choose today that by choosing it will create the reality you desire? Or contribute at least what if all of life comes to you with ease and joy and glory including change what else is possible i adore you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye